Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby. Happy Friday. Happy Fan Request Friday. Uh, I checked in. I didn't see anybody provide any feedback as to what they wanted to do today. So I'm going to do uh, a few things that uh, might help you guys out with your home workouts today. So we're going to focus on some things uh, that you guys can do at home, right? Some home, home workout type stuff and some single limb stuff if you have some injuries or you want to even out some imbalances, right? So as always, I'm going to get warmed up. Uh, today, I'm going to stay on task for the timer, right? No 25 to 5, you know, no crazy workouts. Um, I'm going to stay on task and, and keep the workout to 50 minutes, including the warm-up, all right? Hey, Ashley. Hey, Bakari. So as always, my workouts, I use a timer, right? My timer that I use, uh, this one's called Impetus. On, my, on my, uh, my Apple products, my iPad and my iPhone, I use Seconds Pro. Uh, either way, I do 30-second increments, and I do it for 50 minutes, right? So I do 100 stations, basically, uh, of 30 seconds. So uh, that includes, and normally, I try to include the warm-up and the stretch, in that 50 minutes, although sometimes I do go over uh, with the stretch. So I'm gonna try today to stay on point though, stay on point with the timer and stay on point with the 50 minutes, all right? So give you an idea of what you can do in a short period of time, all right? So I'm gonna jump rope uh, to warm up. If you don't have a jump rope at home or the gym uh, or the group is big, like we do at my boot camp, we'll do like walking it out, jumping jacks, We'll do front kicks, right? The idea is just get the lower extremities warmed up, get the, uh, get the blood flow, right? Get a good blood flow going. Get your body lathered up before you start lifting weights, guys. Especially if you're not young anymore, right? The way I am, right? Not young anymore. You know, I'll be 45 this year. So uh, if you're not young anymore, try to, uh, try to make sure you get warmed up, right? Adequately. No rush, no rush. I just finished my morning classes. Friday mornings I do 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. So usually before my noon class, I do a noon corporate class. Before my noon class, I'll get my workout in. Feel free, guys, uh, to write down or suggest anything you want me to work on. Like any body parts you have questions about or want some ideas as to what to do for certain body parts, uh, feel free to comment what you might want to do. Because Friday is kind of my wild card day when I have a Saturday boot camp class. Monday, Wednesday, Friday are my workouts. Saturday, I join my class typically. So if I'm joining my class on Saturday, Friday is kind of a bonus, right? I, I still have Saturday to make up for. So I don't have to do a great workout so I can spend time today addressing your questions, right, your, your thoughts. Again, you can jump rope, right, you can jump in jacks, right, high knees, just trying to get warm, guys, right? Spend time getting warm, right? Get the torso warmed up. Hey, Kelvin, what's up, baby? Hi, Raji. Dolores, hey, Dolores. What's up, Jason? <sighs> Gotta get you in here, Dolores. It's been, what, two years, three years? <sighs> so any ideas, guys? Any ideas? Need to figure out how to build up my core. Okay, Jason. Okay, okay, okay. How'd you hurt it, Jason? How'd you hurt your back? Do you remember how you hurt it? Just getting loose, guys, getting loose, getting loose.
Playing basketball? Okay, okay. Ab roller is too rough for him, Draji. Ab roller, ab roller is actually very, very hard on the back, the lower back. It's great, it strengthens it, right? But if you have a history of a lower back issues, that might not be the best thing to do, right? So I won't do that, Raji. Good idea, though, good idea. I'll give you a few, Jason, give you a few. All right, one more, one more minute of jump rope, guys. You guys have no idea how nervous I get before these, these workouts. I get super nervous. I don't know why. I just, uh, it's kind of like you uh, putting yourself out there. You're vulnerable. And as I posted yesterday on Facebook, I did a little video. It's important to do things that we don't like doing, right, that we're afraid to do. Right, because those things are the ones that we most have to do in order to get to where we want to go, right? So those things are the ones that are blocking us from getting to our ultimate goals, the things we're afraid to do. So these live events scare the hell out of me. But I do them because I want to be great in life. I don't want to be happy. I don't want to go into my, into my grave having wished I had done more, having wished I had tried more. No regret, no regret. All right, all right. So we'll start, Jason, with some abs, all right? Put this down a little bit. All right. So what you can do, Jason, what you can do, is that visible? All right. So you can anchor your feet. That's probably the first tip. Keep your back safe. Find an anchor under your, under your dresser is good. I use weights here to anchor your feet, okay? Be right back. So by having a weight as my anchor, right, or your desk at home, or your dresser, sorry, your dresser at home, have a friend sit on your feet, that's gonna make sure that you're using your core, right, and keeping your back safer, right? So we'll have our feet anchored, our feet anchored here, right? And then we'll just come back slowly and come up, right? Nice bend to our leg, come back slowly and come up. Come back slowly and come up. The more advanced version, hip hop fool, the more advanced version, right, as you, as you get stronger, you keep your torso more straight, right? So straight torso will work your lower back. But until you get that point where you're strong, you just do regular, right? Curve, right? As you get better, you go straight, come down, elbow to the ground if you want, come up, right? Elbow to the ground, come up, elbow to the ground, come up, elbow to the ground, come up. And so now we're gonna do all, we'll do all 30 seconds, right? Anchored in tight, good. You can go all the way to the ground and relax your back if you want, and then come up. Relax your back, Jason. Come up. Come up. Good, all right. I'm gonna step back, right, out of, the, out of the anchor. Do bicycles. So I encourage you, Jason, I encourage you to always do your abs first, right? Do your abs while your body's still strong, right? Because that's the most critical part for you. And for a lot of people, if you do your abs first, you'll get it over with, right? Because most people will wait to the end to do their abs, and they'll either skip it or they'll do a, a BS workout for their abs, right? So to make sure you get a good ab workout, get your core engaged and strong, we always do a warm-up and then we do abs first, right? And you'll really realize how, how much you use your abs in everything you do if you do them first, right? And then we do them throughout, but do them first, all right? So that way, Jason, you do your abs first, get your core engaged, and then everything you do after that, you will see addresses and re-engages your core, all right? So we'll do a little bit of abs first, and then we'll get started. So a good way, again, is to anchor your foot. 
I'm gonna do some other, I'm gonna do some uh, knees to elbows now. Go flat, right? Knees to the elbow, go flat. Knees to the elbow, go flat. Knees to the elbow, go flat. Knees to the elbow, 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 flat. Open all the way up, guys. Torso all the way open. One minute here. So the abs are kind of engaged a little bit. Abs are engaged a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna do big body parts first, right? The idea behind that is that if you have limited time, you wanna get all the big muscle groups first, right? Legs, chest, back are critical, right? So if you only have 30 minutes, you can do a great workout with just legs, chest, back. If you have more time, you can add the ancillary muscle groups, right? The biceps, the triceps, the shoulders, calves, but, but if you can't or don't have time, you've done those muscle groups secondarily, right? When you do chest presses, you do triceps. When you do back rows, you do biceps, right? So if you do all the big ones first, you've also done the small ones, right? And you've got more bang for the buck in terms of calorie burn, uh, muscle tissue damage, right? Breaking down muscle tissue. Uh, so, and you get warmed up faster, right? So we're gonna do big body parts first. If you're gonna do legs, which we always suggest, uh, and you're gonna do arms and shoulders, I would suggest you do the back and chest first, right? Then you do your legs, right? That gives your, your biceps and triceps a little bit of a break before you go to them. If you go legs first, then you do back and chest, and you go right into arms, you're tired, right? So if you're gonna do all five, right? Back, chest, legs, biceps, triceps, shoulders sometimes, that's six. If you do all six groupings, I suggest you do the big upper body ones first, chest and back, then do legs, right? Then you do your arms after that, all right? So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do back, we'll do back and chest, right? But we're gonna do, I'm gonna give you some ideas. We're gonna do single movement, right? Single limb movements. So for, uh, for, for back, we're gonna do, I'm gonna assume you don't have, well, for back, I'm gonna assume you don't have a, have a uh, you know what, we'll do this, we'll do this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what to do. If you're at home and you wanna build a home gym, right, start your home gym, the first thing you gotta buy is a heavy dumbbell, right? A heavy dumbbell you can do squats with and you can do rows with, right? So that's too heavy, 80's too heavy. So I got a 60 here, right? So a good starting point when you're trying to build a home gym, and it's important to have a home gym whether you want to build a nice expansive one or not because you want to have options when you can't or don't want to go to a gym, right? Or you're homesick with your child or, or, you, or you, whatever the reason you can't get out to a gym or, or whatever, you want to be able to do a workout at home, you want to start building at least a small gym at home, right? So. The first thing you gotta buy, and you can buy it in pieces. You don't have to buy it all at once. You don't have to go, go out and spend two grand and get, a, get, get your garage retrofitted. Just do it in pieces, the way I did. The way I even built you know, this gym, I did the same way. So the first thing you wanna get is a heavy dumbbell. right? That's gonna allow you to do a lot of big muscle uh, exercises, and I'll show you a few. So I'm gonna do a circuit that's gonna work our legs and our chest and our back. Right, all the big muscle groups. So if you have one dumbbell, you could do a full body workout in, t in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna give you a, a, a small sample of a circuit you can do with one dumbbell, all right? We're gonna do rows, okay, 30 seconds, right? And then we're gonna do push-ups, 30 seconds. Then we're gonna change sides, right? And because we're squatting, we're using our legs and our core, right? As opposed to using the bench, right? Use the bench 
But if you, if, you, if, you, if you squat and do it, that way your body's engaged. Your core's engaged, your legs are engaged, all right? So then we'll do left arm rows, and then we'll do push-ups, all right? And then to have some rest for our legs, but still get a little cardio, right? We'll do some toe taps. So I use the bench, I mean, sorry, I use the uh, dumbbell, and I'll just tap it, right? I'll lean forward, and I'll tap it, right? 30 seconds, okay? Then we'll rest 15 seconds, right? And then we'll do squats. Right, by then we should have some rest for our legs. We'll squat 45, and then we'll do squat jumps for more cardio for 30. So that's gonna be right arm rows, push-ups, left arm rows, push-ups, okay? We're gonna, then we're gonna get up, we're gonna rest 15. Do, I'm sorry, toe taps, toe taps, sorry, toe taps. And then we'll rest 15, and then we'll do squats, 45, and then we'll do squat jumps. So that's eight 30 second increments, that's four minutes. Right, you can rest a minute and repeat it, right? So. Uh, if you, you can do two rounds and get in, in 10 minutes and get a good workout. So I'm going to do that right now for you guys. So rows first, right? So wide base, wide base. Your feet are at 12 o'clock and about 315. And you're going to sit down, right? Nice wide base, the dumbbells inside your frame. All right? So we're here, right? We're going to pull and roll. Our butt is down. Pull and roll. Pull and roll. Pull and roll. Ah. Squeeze your back, right? Squeeze your back. Nice. Push ups now, right? Push ups. Right, right to push ups. Good, left side, same thing, left side. Now our right leg is forward, right? Staggered base, wide base, keep our back safe. Let our butt support our, back, our body, not our back. Nice and low, nice and low, okay? Push-ups again. Again, push-ups. Knees are fine too. Knees are fine too. Three, two, one. Woo. Toe taps, right? Toe taps. So we're here, dumbbells here, right? Dumbbells here. Tap it, right? Lean forward. Cardio, no cardio. We'll rest 15 and we'll squat. Three, two, one. What's up, Matthew? Same weight, right? Same weight. Squats now. Nice and deep. Butt out, chest up. Squat jumps now, guys. Squat jumps now. What's up? What's up, Clayton? Chest up, right? Chest up. Use your arms. Chest up. Jump. Come down. Jump. Come down. Jump. Come down. Jump. Come down. Jump. Three, 
two, one. Woo. So that's a mini circuit, right? Full body, well, full, all the big muscle groups, right? Right arm rows, that's one, 30 seconds. Push-ups, right? Left arm rows, push-ups. Toe taps, rest 15, squat, squat jumps. Eight, so Richard, eight 30 second increments. That's four minutes. Right, so you can do all that, you can rest a minute and repeat it. So even with the minute rest, it's five minutes. So you can do, you can do five rounds of that, 25 minutes, and get a good heart rate up, get your legs, your back, your chest, and all the other muscles secondarily. I promise you, you won't find a better 25 minute workout than that one, I promise you. All right, so try that at home. Right? Row, push up, row, push up, toe tap. Rest 15, squat, squat jump. All right? So let's say, let's say your back hurts, right? Your back hurts, tired of squatting, don't have a heavy enough weight to squat. One thing you can do is do single limb, single limb movements, right? So whenever you do a one leg movement, right? A step up, a lunge. It relieves pressure on your back. It's not as, not as back intensive as a squat would be, right? So whenever you don't have a heavy weight available or you wanna give your back a break, single limb movements are great. So I'm gonna give you a few, all right? All right, guys. So we're gonna do a one-legged squat, right? Elevated squat. So this one's great, requires some balance, but it's great because again, it gives your back some rest. So I prefer the dumbbell, the same side as the front leg or the down leg. The back leg, you can put either toes down, right? Or facing your foot down. I prefer, I prefer facing my foot down. It's a little easier for me. But whatever is better for you, either toes, right? or face down, right? Go out far enough with that foot, right? Far enough out, so when you go down, when you go down, your knees are not past your toes, right? So we don't wanna be here and go past our toes, that's bad. We wanna be out far enough, so when we go down, our knees behind our toes, all right? So we're gonna do 30 seconds with the weight, so we're gonna put it down and do 30, without it, right? For that one, you wanna go fast, right? And if you can, you do a small jump, right? You do a small jump, boom, off the ground, boom. The key though is to get below, below parallel, right? Below parallel. Parallel is a point of going from mostly quad work, right above parallel to the ground, is mostly leg quad work. Below parallel is glute work, booty work. So try to be below parallel. If you can, all right? Here we go. Timer here. There's a timer. Here we go. 30, 30. 30 seconds with the weight. 30 seconds with no weight. Here we go. Three, two, one. Far enough out, right? Far enough out. Nice and deep, right? Coming up. Nice and deep. Coming up. Nice and deep. Coming up. Nice and deep. Coming up, deep, 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 up, two, one, good, here we go. Now we're gonna bounce, here we go. Again, jump if you can, right? Same leg forward, right? Down low, right? Bounce it. Bounce if you can, we're jumping, right? Jumping, 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 jumping. Get low, right, for glutes. Jump, up, ah, 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 ah. Bounce, 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 bounce. Woo! That burns, that burns. You can rest 30 if you want, rest 30, and then change legs. 
No problem, Jason. No problem, buddy. We're going left. Left side now. Same thing. 12. Same thing. Right leg up, right? Right leg out. Right leg up. Left leg out. Three, two, one. Let's go. Deep, right? Deep. Right, deep. Right, deep. Right, deep. Right, deep. 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 Two, one. Woo. This is good for coordination, right? Obviously, and good for evening out your imbalances. Yeah, you're right, Kelvin. Head up, chest up. You're right, good point, Kelvin. Don't want to lean too much, right? You want your chest behind your knees, right? Chest behind your knees, knees behind your toes. Thanks, Kelvin. Right, chest behind your knees, knees behind your toes, right? Don't lean too much, right? Up, 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 up. Do a few more, 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 do a few more. Good, good call, Kelvin. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Head up, chest up. Head up, chest up. All right, so that's one. It was kind of hard, guys, but try them. Try them out. All right. So another one I like to do is step-ups. All right? You can use a bench, a chair. Right? These are great if you're traveling, right? At a park. Right? It doesn't require a lot of weight. You can use a milk jug if you want. You can use light dumbbells. So same concept. We're going to stay on one leg. Stay on one leg for a whole minute. 30 seconds with the weight. Slow twitch fibers. And then 30 seconds with no weight, going quick. All right, so we're gonna do a step up first. Right, push through the heel. Same thing, right? Chest behind my knees. Don't lean. And knee behind my toes, right? So you're gonna go straight up, right? The kick is not necessary. In fact, it's wasted, wasted movement, right? It doesn't add anything to it. So, come up, you wanna put balance, put your foot down for balance, you can. Come down slow, right? Drive through the heels. Come on, so do that, 30 seconds. Then put it down. Put it down, we're going cool quick, right? So I tell my students to leave your leg up the whole time. Right, don't move it down, right? Leave it up the whole time, right? And go quick, boom, boom. All the way up, but quick, right? Quick, quick, quick. If you want that advanced movement, you can jump, right? So jump, 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 but quick, right? Having your foot up the whole time keeps all the blood in your leg, right? So it makes it work harder. So we do 30 seconds with the weight, right? I prefer the same side as the working leg. Some guys do it the opposite side. And then 30 seconds with no weight, quick, all right? 30 with weight, 30 with no weight, and then change legs. Same side and change legs. Going to 20. <clears throat> For my ketones, for my BCAs. Here we go, here we go. Right side first. Right side first. Here we go. Come on, drive through the heels, come up slow. Drive through the heels, come down 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 slow. Push through the heels, come down slow. Chest is up, right? Chest is up. You wanna lean over your, over your body. Chest is up. Good. Three, two, one. Waist down, right? Leg stays up if we can. A lot of blood in there. Now we're quick, right? We're quick, 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 we're quick. If you want, do a jump, right, Kelvin? Advance, right? Off the ground, off the ground. Off the ground, 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 off the ground. Ah, woo! Quick, 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 quick. Woo! Ah. Then if you want, you can rest thirty. If you want, I'll go right to it. I'm gonna rest. A 
Again, these are great, guys. If you can't do squats or don't want to or your back is tight, all these movements make your back tight. So this one is a great way to get your legs burning without using a lot of weight or making your back vulnerable to injury, right? And it's good for a burn, actually. Left side, same thing, same thing, here we go. Right, push through the heels, come up. Push through the heels, come down slow. 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 Good. Come on, good. Nice, nice. Two, one, same thing, put the weight down. Get that foot up there, right? All the blood stays in there, right? We're going quick now, right? Quick, quick. If you're using your arms, it's good, but make sure you do the opposite arm, right? Opposite arm. We're not doing this, right? We're not doing this. I'm sorry, we're not doing this, right? So opposite arm, right? Opposite arm. Now you're running. Quick, 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 quick. Woo! All right. All right, one more, uh, one more combination for single leg. All right, so we did one legged squats on the bench. We did step ups on the bench. Now we're gonna do a lunge, one side of lunge, right? Again, some people, you know, love doing barbell stuff, right? Which is great, squats, even goblet stuff. But sometimes your back is just tight. Right, it's just tight. So you wanna find ways to still work your legs, right, without making your back tighter. So, uh, you're right, Kelvin, you're right. 90, 90, cheek to cheek, right? Cheek to cheek. Kelvin, my boy Kelvin and I went to high school together. He's a coach too. He's giving me all my points, I like it. Coach me up, Kelvin, it's okay. I like it, all right. So now we're gonna do lunges, right? With the weight, with the weight, okay? So we're here. Right? Again, I prefer to, to load the same side I'm working, right? So I prefer to load, right? If I'm going right leg forward, that's the work leg. I prefer to load that leg with the dumbbell. Some people will do the opposite side, right? I, I mean, it's just preference. I load the same side, all right? So we're gonna reach back slowly, right? All the way back, right? Some people will do a forward lunge. You will never see me do a forward lunge. I'll tell you why, all right? So, when you forward lunge, right, you have to know exactly where your foot's gonna land in order to prevent going past your toes, right? So, unless you're perfect, right, unless you're perfect every time, right, you're gonna go over your, over your toes with your knees, right? When you step backwards, you know at all times where your foot's at, right? So if I go backwards, I know well, see, I'm always behind my toes. So to me, it's a safer movement, right? I know there's some benefits of going forward, especially when you push off, some, some glute work, but the benefits you gain, to me, don't outweigh the knee risk you get when you go forward. So I always lunge backwards, right? And very seldom, seldom do I do, like a barbell or double, I'll do single most of the time. So we're gonna do lunges first, right? Right side, right, load the right, load the right side, okay? Wanna step back slowly. Again, below parallel, right? Chest up, Kelvin, thank you. Chest up, drive through the heel, come up, right? Low, low, chest up. Again, the kick doesn't add to us. You don't need to kick, right? We're gonna do that, 30 seconds. Put it down, same side. Same side, we're gonna do a lunge jump, right? Again, we're coming low, right? Below parallel, right? Coming low, right? Below parallel, but now we're gonna jump, explode, right? Explode a little bit. Come off the ground, come off the ground, right? Land, land with a knee bend, right? And then go right to the lunge, right? This is a good fast twitch, explosive movement, all right? And then after that, we're gonna stay where we're at and just do all glute work, right? We're gonna bounce here, right? Bounce here, boom, boom, boom. Without going forward, right? Without going forward, knees are stand there and we're straight down. Okay, so lunge, 30 seconds with the weight. Lunge, jump, 30 seconds, and then bounce, 30 seconds, all right? That's a minute and a half per side, right? We rest a minute, we rest 30, and change sides. 
So it's one minute and a half plus 30 rest. That's two minutes per side. Right? So you can do three sides or three rounds in six minutes. Right? Get a lot of work in. A lot of work in. Here we go. So we're gonna do right side first. Right side first. And five. Good. Three, two, one. Now this one, hold on. this one you can go a little heavier, right? I tell my students, go, go halfway between zero and what you would squat, right? So since I was squatting 60s, I'm gonna do 30s for the lunges. Hey, Nicole. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a deep lunge, right below parallel, below parallel, and then lunge jump, and then bouncing. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Again, same side as the front leg, right? Coming down deep, drive through, right? Coming down deep, push through the heels. Coming down deep, push through the heels. Coming down deep, push through the heels. Good for balance, guys, right? Good for sports, Kelvin, right? Keeps, you, keeps your athletes core engaged. Keeps them coordinated. It removes any imbalances you might have with your right and left side. Good. Two, one, good. Now lunge jump, guys. We're still coming low, but a little parallel, but I want to come up quick. Okay, explode up. Right? Opposite arm, explode up. Opposite arm, explode up. Opposite arm, explode up. Opposite arm, explode up. Opposite arm. If you can't jump, just go to your toes, right? If you can't jump, boom to the toe, right? Boom to the toe. Boom to the toes. Boom to the toes. Boom to the toes. Boom to the toes. Good. And then we're gonna bounce, right? Then we're gonna bounce. Same leg, right? Same leg forward. We're here and we're bouncing. Bouncing, bouncing. Not going forward, right? Up and down, bouncing, bouncing. You want to bounce? Use your hands if you want to bounce. Staying low, 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 staying low. That burns, that burns. Two, one, woo! Ah, that hurts. Rest 30 if you want, and then do left leg. Then do left leg. These are great guys, we get all those, all that, uh, that balance, right? Coordination so kids can explode either side, right? Equally strong, explode, the coordinated. Our kids lack that these days, they don't do enough stuff. They don't understand how to use the body. Left side, same thing. I go front view. The same side as the front leg, right? Chest is high. Reach back slowly. Deep, come up. Good, slowly. Chest up. Good. Slowly come deep. Going below parallel. Below parallel, good. Below parallel. You see my core is engaged, right? I'm going down, it's flexing. Because it has to engage, I'm, so I'm on balance. Two, one, good. Let's go jumps. Same thing, right? Come down deep, explode up. Opposite arm, right? Opposite arm, right? Explode up, right? Come down, explode up. Come back, explode up. Come back, explode up. Come back. Again, if you can't jump, go to the toes, right? Back to the toes. 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 Good. Come on. Two. Woo. And then you bounce, right? Last 30 is bounce. Right, we're here. Chest is up still. Right, we're standing low. We're standing down. We're standing down. Not going forward. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Uh, uh, three, two, one. Woo. That burns. That burns, guys. All right, so I gave you three different ideas, right, for single leg. All that stuff saves your back, right, from doing squats all the time, right? All right, so that's legs. We did a quick circuit earlier for back, chest, and legs, right? Give you an idea for that. Give you an idea for single limb. Now let's do some upper body single limb stuff, all right? So chest, you can do chest the same way. Right? Same way with chest. 
And all this stuff, Jason, is good for your core because you have to balance, right? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do single arm dumbbell presses, right? So I'm gonna go lighter because it's, it's harder, right? I'm gonna go single going up, so I have to balance, right? You can even do it with a medicine ball or a Swiss ball. I'm gonna do a bench so it's not as hard. But the same concept, so I'm gonna go single limb, right? 30 seconds and then switch. But what's cool about that is you can stay on the same body part for several minutes without switching or resting. Because while you're doing your right side, your left side's resting and vice versa. So you can go nonstop, you know, for three, four, five, six rounds and get a lot of work in. The right side first. Two, one, good. So we're here, we're balanced, right? Arms here, gonna come up, come down slowly, come up, come down slowly. Good. Inside. Woo. Same thing, guys. Same thing. Ah. Come down slow, right? Come down slow. I'm gonna do two more rounds, guys. But I want you to watch. What's up, Zach? I want you to watch how my abs flex. Right, when I'm doing it, I have to balance, right? So my core gets engaged every single time I move the weight. I have to balance. So watch as my abs are working. So if you do stuff right, your core should, should be working continuously. I'm gonna do this way. See that? Constant work, guys. Last round, guys. Last round. Ooh. 
All right, all right, so that was single limb, chest up. All right, so single limbs not only help you to eliminate any imbalances, right, with your muscles, but also works your core, right, because you're forced to balance. And also, you can go lighter, right? If you don't have heavy weights enough to do chest, let's say I don't have 70s and 80s, right? Or, or Kelvin doesn't have 100s, right? How you have is lightweights. You can do single ones, and it makes it harder, right? So you get more bang for the buck. All right, so I'm gonna end off with some single limb movements for biceps and triceps. Very simple. So we're gonna do curls first. Curls first. Single limb curls, right? And now get on the ground and do kickbacks. So 30 pound dumbbells. Normally I would do 35s probably for double, but single I'm gonna do 30. I might even go 25s after a round or two. We'll see. But again, I'm forced to balance, right? I'm, I mean, I'm not holding the dumbbell at all. I'm just gonna have one dumbbell on this side. Three, two, one, here we go. So I have to balance, coming up. And you can see my abs flex every time I move because I have to balance myself. Hey, Sunita. Hey, Colleen. Three, two, one. Good, switch sides. Same thing, same thing. And these you can do in front of a TV, right? At home, you just put a timer on, 30 seconds on one side, and then switch to, and in five minutes you can get five rounds done and get a good pump. This is round two, only a minute in. I already feel it. What's up, Troy? Three, two, one. And because, uh, because gyms sell dumbbells individually, you can go out and buy. If you can't afford to buy pairs, just go out and buy singles, right? Until you can build up your home gym. Go out and buy a heavy one for the circuit I gave you earlier. Go buy and buy some, some light ones for curls and things like this. Two, whoo, that's just two minutes, guys, for biceps. This is it, it's round three now. I'm already pumped. Bottom of three, bottom of three. Like literally guys, this is my third minute on arms. That's it, and I'm already oh, pumped. Two, one, woo, let's go. Round four, guys, two more minutes, two more rounds. Thanks, Troy.
gonna do four minutes, guys, four rounds, because the timer's gonna end. I'll do one more thing for you guys. Oh man, all right. Ooh, all right. So that's biceps. That was four minutes, guys. That was it. I was gonna do five. My timer. It's already been 50 minutes. We're now gonna do the goal today, Troy. The goal, no, not heavy, not heavy, right? The goal today was to show people different ideas. So every Friday I'm gonna do, I think every Friday, like a fan Friday. So you guys tell me, you know, body parts you wanna work on, ideas you want for certain things, uh, and I'll kind, of, I'll kind of tailor the workout to what you guys want. But I'm always gonna do the similar workout, always full body, uh, always includes abs and cardio, always about an hour, right, 50 minutes. So my last thing I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna do single limb, single limb tricep work, right? So on the ground, we're gonna do kickbacks. All right, so I'm gonna be here, you guys see me? Right, I'm gonna be here, all fours, right? Elbows are high, I'm gonna flex and squeeze. I'm gonna go 15, it's probably like heavy. So this one, you can go, go light, light. Girls, I recommend they do like five or eight or maybe tens. And guys can go like 15 or 20 maybe, right? So you're gonna have your elbow high, you're gonna flex the top, right? But now what happens is, it's hard because you're on all fours, and even though you're changing arms, right, right 30 seconds, left 30, your off arm is on the ground, right? Oh man, look at that tricep. Your off arm is on the ground, right? So the blood is in there continuously. So you really get no rest. So by the third round, you're like, boom. And then what I'll do for my ladies is I'll have them add some glutes. So for the last two rounds, they'll do an opposite leg kick, right? Or a donkey raise, get a little glute work. So we'll do, we'll do two each. We'll do two regular and then two with the opposite leg kick to show you what I mean. And that's good for your back too, Jason, if you're still there. The, the glute and the back go hand in hand. So if you improve your glute strength or your booty strength, that didn't, that didn't improve your back. So bridges are good, donkey kicks are good. Getting your butt strong and, and, and engaging it more often will protect your back, all right? So we're gonna do uh, two each of just regular and then two each with the opposite leg uh, donkey kick, all right? And then we're done, all right? Going in 10, going in 10. Right side first. Three, two, one, we go. So elbows are high, right? We're gonna flex, come down, flex. We're trying not to move the shoulder, right guys? Don't move the shoulder blade, right? Just the elbow joint. Three, two, one, switch sides, same thing. Now this is tired, right? But I can't rest it because I'm, I'm bracing myself, so it gets no rest really, right? Opposite arm now. Now one teaching point I always say is, we want to lock the arm and then raise the whole arm a half an inch. That's going to get the top end of that tricep. So you lock, squeeze and raise. Squeeze and raise, okay? Squeeze and raise, right? Squeeze and raise. Squeeze and raise. Squeeze and raise. Tell you, it's two minutes. That's it. I'm already burning. Ah, 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 ah,
more rounds. Now, opposite leg kick, right, for the glute. Right, requires some balance, too, so your core works, okay? So we're here, right, we're gonna squeeze, come in, 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 squeeze. Other side. I'm shaking, guys. I'm shaking a little bit. Squeeze. 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 One more round, guys. This is it. I'm literally shaking, y'all. So that's good, man. Literally, that was four minutes, right? That was four minutes. That was right side, right, left side, twice, and then right side with the kick, right? Left side with the kick, twice. So, you know, the key, guys, is being consistent. The key is Keeping the momentum going, right? I know there's days you don't want to work out, I know. Today I don't want to work out, right? But I had committed to you guys to be online today. I didn't have to, tomorrow I'm gonna to be here. So I could have taken a day off, right? But sometimes, just start the workout, right? Jump rope, get on a bike, get on a treadmill, right? Start with a small circuit, tell yourself you're gonna do, you know, a two minute circuit, right? Like earlier, with the back, the push-ups, the squats. But that circuit was two minutes long, right? I'm sorry, four minutes long, right? You rest a minute, that's five minutes. To do four of those, that's 20 minutes of work, right? That's it, 20 minutes of work, you've done every body part, and you've got the momentum continued. Instead of saying, so, you know what, I'm too tired. We all tired, we all tired, right? But it's about a commitment, right? A commitment to your body. Commitment to the relationship you have with your body. It's like any other one in your life, like your husband, your wife, your kids, your coworkers, people in your life that you care about, you commit to them. You don't just do it when, when you wanna do it. You do it because sometimes they need you to do it. Right, when I, was, when I was younger, I didn't watch Barney. For me, I watched it for my kids. I didn't watch Lifetime. For me, I watched it for my wife. So sometimes going out and partying and staying late, that's for you, right? Getting your ass up in the morning and going to work out and putting the donut down, that's for your body, right? It's give and take. It's give and take like any relationship, right? It's give and take. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, next Friday, I'll do it again. I'll post it earlier so you can give me some ideas of what you want me to work on and show you guys. Uh, but as always, you know, we just try to get better every day, right? Just a little better. And, and the thing about it is, I don't care how old you are, Right, or how hurt you are, if you can get better today, if you're physically and mentally able to get better today, then there's no use making excuses. Right, move forward. It don't matter where you used to be, it don't matter where you wanna be, right? If you can get better today, then let's get off our butt and go get it. All right, so as always, this is Coach Bobby. Have a wonderful day. Hit me up, Troy. Hit me up, Troy, anytime. Hey, anybody here, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on my YouTube page, UMC Workout. 
is my, uh, my user ID, uh, Instagram, UMC Workout, UMC for Ultimate Muscle Confusion. So UMC Workout, right? All right, guys, have a great weekend. Uh, hope you enjoyed the workout. Hope it was, uh, had some ideas for you guys to do. Uh, as always, this is Coach Bobby saying, every day we're trying to get better than yesterday. All right, guys, BTY, take care. Love you guys, bye.